Welcome back. We are here looking at the uh, cryptocurrency market, and it's going to be my daily forecast for Monday, April 19, 2020. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over at Patreon, where you can get access to our full technical analysis, our signal service, and also our online trades and courses. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at Bitcoin, and technically the cryptocurrency market is again approaching Territories where we on this channel usually call stupid money. Uh, it probably is not uh, for for Bitcoin, but if you look at some of the lesser known uh, cryptocurrencies, they are basically approaching uh, RSI levels and uh, that we have basically haven't seen since the rally ba uh, basically in, in February where everything basically broke down. So they're approaching levels of, uh, of uh, 85, 90, 93 uh, levels. And usually what happens after that, it uh, basically loses uh, 25 to 50% of the value. But that's how it has basically been behaving. So uh, people should be technically aware of that. Rallying uh, 3, 5 uh, to even 1,000% in only um, in 2021 only, that is not normal and that is basically a sign a massive warning sign that things are going could break down significantly to the downside but bitcoin is um, trading slowly towards the upside it has resistance support levels at the 200 and the 20 exponential sorry and the 50 moving average as well so it has been bouncing up the 50 and the 20 exponential for where a very very long time now and it's gradually grinded to you know, higher at the moment we are most likely going to head back to the 20 exponential or 60k that's probably where buyers will come back in we approach we got towards the all-time highs here at 64k um this was basically on tuesday uh, technical indicators at this point they are macd is flat cci is flat and the sorry, cci um, sarcastic is flat and the cci is become is still in bullish territory but it's becoming bearish so my rsi is also flat and we are fairly low considering where we were back in february and so on when we had rsi numbers that you know, were all the way up at 80 and also at 90 at one point this was back in this was in January where we were at 85, where we saw in this breakdown. So we haven't been to those very high RSI numbers for a really long time now, probably because people are not buying as much Bitcoin as they used to do. Uh, and uh, they are instead focusing on other cryptocurrencies that are rallying uh, two, three hundred uh, percent in, in only weeks. So let's look at uh, Ethereum. So Ethereum uh, has rallied all the way up towards uh, 2519 and then it looks like it's going to turn around here. Uh, technical indicators are still in bullish territory and very, are fairly bullish. MACD is bullish. The stochastic has crossed the signal line indicating bearish momentum. CCI is bullish and the RSI is significantly overbought but not at the levels that we saw back here in January when we were at 91 in the RSI before basically breaking down. So we are not approaching those RSIs yet. It doesn't, it, although this is very high at the 74 and therefore pullbacks could be expected. But this has been bouncing off the 20 exponential that is at 2134 at this point and the 50 moving average down here at 1852 so uh, this is probably going to be the floor where buyers will come back in and buy so we're getting fairly overstretched and uh, overbought this but at this point so a pullback could be expected so let's look at uh, cardano so cardano has uh, well it did rally up towards 1.5 uh, uh, and then basically broke down again and it looks like we're heading back towards the 20 exponential a lot of choppy trading really choppy trading on um, thursday and uh, a little bit also on friday but at this point it looks like we're heading back towards uh, the middle of bullish band which is at 1.25 if that breaks we can head towards the 50 moving average at 1.87 Technical indicators are still fairly bullish. MACD is bullish, the is bullish, the CCI is bullish, and the RSI is at flat at this point, but on the edge of being overbought. So let's look at Litecoin. 
So Litecoin is uh, approaching what we basically say is stupid money. Uh, you can see that the RSI is at 80, 81 at this current stage. And considering that we have rallied from 100 and 160, uh, $67. This was back in uh, 15 of March and all the way up towards uh, $330. Um, dollars and this was basically on Friday so in a matter of of, um, of give or take uh, two and a half weeks it has basically doubled so that is a massive rally and uh, well yes this when these cryptocurrencies behave like this uh, it looks like just a, a pump and dump it basically looks people are just pumping this as far as possible and at some point it's just going to break back towards the middle of the punch band and that's a really large drop that's all the way down to 230 uh, 32 dollars and you cannot see this uh, back for probably uh, several months if we have this drop so we can see that um, we had a similar move here it broke towards the 50 moving average if this were to break to below uh, towards the 50 moving average now then we had back to 200 dollar levels so uh, but it looks like if you look at the weekly chart that we are trying to approach the all-time highs that is that technically looks like what this market is uh, trying to achieve at this current stage uh, but that is a uh, also fairly terrifying if we are going to see um, a repeat of this move that we saw back in 2017 it got all the way up to 376 uh, and then it broke all the way down towards 20. yes 20. so this market has been volatile and uh, i have seen some analysis that there are they are basically um, in cycle so you have these major rallies towards these tops and then they completely breaks down and then you have a period where technically nothing really happens and then you have another rally towards these upside if those um, uh, analysis basically hold then that this basically means that we could see this rally up towards the 375 dollar range if we do that in next week rally then we are going to looking at the RSI numbers in the weekly chart that are going to approach uh, 80 and 90. And that is um, uh, territory that is extremely risky, risky. Even in the weekly chart, we're at 75. So significantly or bought in the, basically the, in the weekly chart. That is also uh, a big warning sign that this could basically break back towards the downside. So if we were to break down from here, then we have the the $200 range which most likely will be where buyers will come back in so last time we basically rallied we went from give or take 24 all the way up to 376 then it broke down towards um, 100 give or take it rallied back towards the 247 uh, before basically completely collapsing back towards $20 in the $20 range so um, yes we are significantly outside of the of the bullish band here but so we were as well back in 2017 and it lasted for give or, give or take it two weeks so now we are basically in week one we could see this go all the way to the top before completely collapsing to the to the downside so yes let's look at uh, neo so similar thing here we are approaching uh, well yes everybody that just looks at this hockey stick it is uh, completely out of the norm uh, normal behavior has been this and then all of a sudden this occurs so we are approaching um, rsi numbers that it's at in the daily chart at 90. so this is also significantly significantly overbought and overstretched and um, logic would say that we will pull back towards the middle of the bullish band which is at 60 at this point and even that is really high considering where we basically were in the beginning of 2001 so we were at 13 in the beginning of 2000 so january 1st 2021 we are trading at 13. now we're trading at 100 we're basically at 104 this week 
So yes, nearly a tenfold in in uh, three and a half, four and a half months. That is absolutely crazy and out of of the norm. Considering we just put into um, comparison to what uh, indices, for example, the S and P five hundred, the Dow Jones, Nasdaq, and so on, they usually rally in average of uh, eight to nine percent yearly. This has done a hundred. Uh, this has done not just a hundred, but 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 it has uh, tenfold in in uh, in only three and a half months. So um, yes, people that are buying at this point are basically playing with fire. So pullbacks from here uh, uh, would not be um, out of the norm, to be fairly honest. So the last time we basically had a pullback, it looks minuscule right now. When we were in February, when we rallied from 24 all the way up towards uh, 50, uh, 54, it basically broke down back towards uh, 31. So it lost, it lost roughly 30, 35% or 40% of its value in only two days. So this is not sustainable and it will collapse at some point. Um, at some point. So let's look at that, that dash. Yes, it also has absolutely uh, rocketed to the upside. So we went from the bottom here at 179 all the way up towards above 400. So 403. We are at uh, 85 in the RSI. And I'm just going to say this again. People are thinking that this is normal. This is not normal. When we get to two, uh, these are not when we get back, back past 70, it is basically approaching levels that are significantly, uh, significantly overbought. That basically means that you're paying way more for this than you basically should be paying for it. And uh, nobody would basically pay a car without wheels. That is technically what people are doing when they're buying at these levels. Uh, so they're pay paying for a product that is uh, significantly overvalued, and uh, and usually when it happens that uh, when people figure out that they are doing that, they will basically dump this, and we are expecting a pullback probably work towards these tops again at three hundred and thirty. And um, if we break below that, then we could head towards the bottom of the bullish band at the well, middle of the bullish band at two hundred and sixty eight, uh, or this could drop all the way down to this fifty minute average at two hundred and thirty. Uh, 34 or the very bottom down here at 178 so yes that is technically what happened here if you just look at the last time when this went parabolic it was in february we dropped all the way down towards the 61.8 fibonacci retracement that is not is just some random number people were basically watching this and then started buying it when it got to those fibonacci retracement levels uh, we could see something similar here. If you look at if this is the top, if it indeed is the top, then we can see that the 61.8 is right at the, the middle of the bunch band. So at 268 is probably where people will uh, look at this and say, okay, yes, we'll enter here again. So let's look at, uh, we have Tron. So this has also gone completely parabolic. We are is not our size number is not as high as for many of the other ones, but at 75, it's still high. But considering how far this has rallied from the beginning of the 2021, so it was trading at 0 0.0266, and now we're trading at 0 0.17, um, 17.10. So an absolutely enormous rally in only a few months. So technical indicators are very bullish. We are significantly overstretched, not as overstretched, for example, as da as Neo and DAX and uh, and Litecoin, uh, but this could also see a pullback towards the middle of the bullish band at the 0 0.11, 75. Um, if that breaks, then we can head all the way down to the seven, the 50 moving average, down at uh, 0 0.07. So, yes, um, this went parabolic. Moves like this are not sustainable, and they will pull them back at 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 some point. So hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos. And you're welcome to join us over at Patreon. The link is down below. Good luck and thank you very much.